dark areas, Coco Bolo. You have and never in your life. Oh, that's walnut and lace wood. So met anyone. 1,000 year old redwood. Who knows more yeah. about wood. I forget what kind of wood that is. Oh man. Than he does. Oh, rosewood, geez. That's because Omar Angel this Perez rose sees rose more wood. than wood. He sees a canvas. In my work, I let the wood kind of do the talking. He's created a signature style. None of my work is really straightforward. Focused on custom pieces that can cost thousands. Pieces are going to be pricey. <laughs> you know what they say, an artist's work is never done. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I make? Cool. So six years ago, he had a quirky idea. My wife will certainly say he's a little quirky. Could be pretty cool. Why not do <laughs> a shoe? I thought, well, maybe I can make a sculpture pretty much as a joke. <laughs> You know, I'll make a sculpture of a shoe. 20 inches tall and impossible for anyone to wear. The first one was called, My Shoes Are Killing Me. Immediately, everyone wanted to try the killer heels. Stylists started seeing beyond that and thinking, how can we use these? Designers, photographers. This is actually from uh, Vogue Italia. They all came calling. This is China. For the man who used wood. Yeah in a way that no one else would. This is um, just a the design I've been thinking about. These I, creative types tend to attract other uh, creative types. It was an email, actually, and then there was a phone call. Who came calling? It's just really surreal. The mother of art meets fashion meets insane style, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga's people are so secretive. The first time I was contacted was by her, her stylist, but she didn't tell me who it was for. She just said, we need these in London in, in 12 days. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, yeah, it's a slow process. It takes months to make the custom designs. These weigh about, oh, about five pounds. <laughs> so per that's shoe? A, that's a, per shoe. Yeah, Put so together that's with that's whatever that's Omar can find. The shoes all start the same. They start out as just solid blocks of wood. But they can evolve into whatever Gaga's team dreams up. They were very specific about wanting the beige color. These are bandsaw blades. This pair is called Void because of the void right there in the middle there. So far, he's done four pairs for the pop star with a wooden mold of Gaga's shoe size. They're eight and a half. But that's a secret, right? <laughs> She's worn them for promos and the occasional outing. I hope she doesn't fall over in my shoe and, and break something. <laughs> After all, he didn't mean to create shoes that could be worn. They're pretty intense. But the challenge of a 16-inch heel is hard for any fashionista hmm. to resist. Yeah, i got to figure that out. So this artist... Grinding and shaping. And craftsman... Man. <laughs> we'll keep on crafting. Will just making shoes be the only thing I do? No. <laughs> because creativity can't be boxed in. Ready to go. It's how the man who knew everything about wood. Maple all the way around. And nothing about heels. I certainly had no idea how to make a shoe. <laughs> became the world's hottest accidental shoemaker. I had no idea what I was getting into, but I just kind of jumped in. Now the only thing higher than the heels <laughs> is the potential. You just never know where they're going to show up. 